It's ironic how those who preach tolerance and acceptance the most tend to be the ones that commit the most civil and moral crimes. Here to flesh this out a bit is church militants, Dr. Paul Morano. Thanks, Kim. Corruption has always been a part of politics, but as virtue wanes and lust for power dominates, there's a new meaning for the term party of death. In tonight's in-depth report, we observe a crime wave of high and low profile Democrats largely covered up by the media. There's something happening under the radar that's plaguing the Democratic Party. While many Dems support defunding the police despite rising crime rates, a considerable amount of left-wing violence is going unnoticed. To highlight some examples, a North Dakotan liberal recently admitted to killing a conservative 18-year-old with his car after a political argument. He told police he chased that teenager down around town because he thought the victim was part of a Republican extremist group. An abortion supporter was charged in July for attempting to murder Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. And the infamous Ghislaine Maxwell, longtime associate of the Clintons, was sentenced to 20 years. As far as we know, no houses of her clients have been raided by the FBI. Have you ever heard of a sex trafficking ring where the cops didn't take the client list, the people who were involved, and go and knock on every single door on that list? In lesser known cases, a Democratic official in Las Vegas was charged this month with murdering an investigative journalist who exposed his wrongdoing. A longtime New Jersey Democratic activist pleaded guilty in January to hiring people to murder his former associate. And a former Biden campaign surrogate was sentenced in June to 12 years for sexually assaulting one minor and paying for explicit photos of another. Further, a Democratic activist and mega donor in California recently got 30 years for luring young men with deadly drugs in order to sodomize them after they either passed out or died. Along with this, the Democratic fundraising platform Act Blue still has active accounts for Democratic politicians, one who spent jail time for abusing a girlfriend, one who's charged with strangling his estranged wife, and another who abused his wife, giving her a black eye. Among other Act Blue Democratic beneficiaries, an ex-state senator facing felony charges for molesting a 12-year-old boy, the New Mexico governor who assaulted a staffer, and an ex-congresswoman having sexual relationships with staffers one of whom became part of a so-called thruple with her and her husband. Katie Hill is apologizing for being in a thruple relationship with a female staffer and her husband. Republicans certainly have had their own share of sinful and criminal behaviors, but in order to uphold the left's narrative, the media political establishment habitually hides the crimes of their ideological allies and creates crimes for those they deem to be threats to their power. Many other recent crimes that remain under the radar include Democrats who've been charged with money laundering and those who have run voter fraud schemes.